Morning everyone and welcome to Friday Flexibility Mobility Session. This should only take 10 to 12 minutes max and there's going to be a few different exercises today. So let's get started straight away. So what I'd like you to do is kneel down, but to start with, keep your knees just wider than shoulder width apart. Okay, so from here, just wider than shoulder width apart. And I'd like your legs to run straight backwards, so at this angle, straight back from your body, okay? So hips nice and wide, legs straight back, and what I'd like you to do from there is lean forward into your stretch, okay? So you're going to put the forearms on the ground, the hips nice and wide, the legs nice and wide, and you're going to sit back slightly into the stretch. Okay, so you sit your bottom back slightly. The feet can go out to the side and you keep a good position. If you ever want the legs to um, move too far out, I want them just wider or quite a wee bit wider than shoulder width apart. And then you sit the hips back and you stretch the groin. The more you push the hips back, the more you can stretch and hold in that position. Keep the legs nice and neutral and sit the hips back. The less flexible you are in the hips, the higher your body will be from the ground. So you might be in this position. The more flexible you can push back and forearms on the ground. This is just going to open up the groin and the hips slightly. Point the toes out to the side and just hold in that position. Remember our breathing is really important. Okay, so breathe not too deeply. Don't change the, the, um, the depth of your breath too much. Try and keep quite a, a normal breathing routine, but just be really conscious of how you're breathing. And we're gonna stay in the stretch for a wee while. You keep the legs pointing straight away, straight away from the body and the toes out to the side. I'll turn to the front so you can see what that looks like from the front. So just wider, quite a bit wider, feet out, and then sit your bottom back. Alright, and stretch on the inside of the groin and the outside of the head. Just about 20 more seconds. So very slowly take the weight on your hands. Come out of that stretch. The hips will be really tight and the groin will be tight. And make your way to your bottom with your legs as wide as you can go for you. So maneuver your body so you're sitting on the bones of your bottom. Legs as wide as you can comfortably go essentially with the legs straight, toes pointing up to the sky. So nice and tall. Take one arm across, lift the other arm up and bend over to one side. Don't slouch the body to try and get down. Just let gravity take this arm over and the body will start the stretch. And you'll feel the stretch in a few different places. I definitely feel it up the side of here and across the back and the lower back and up the side and the back of your arm. Now you can start to breathe a little bit deeper. Slowly come up, change sides, other arm across, arm up, lean to one side, let gravity 
Take you over. As I always say to most people, to everyone, that one side is generally much more locked up or tighter than the other side. So doing these type of exercises really let you see where's, where's tight and what needs work done. And slowly up to the middle, change sides again. So arm over to the thigh, lift the arm up. And then follow the arm across. Make sure those legs are as straight as possible. And so that last one on this side. Change sides with the hand and take them over. Good work. you become conscious of your breathing and back to the middle okay from here bring the feet in pull the feet towards the body sit nice and tall on the bones of your bum and just hold that position for a few seconds try to make the back as long as possible keep really good posture From there, keep one leg in, take one leg out in front and take the fingers forward and start to slouch over that front leg. Now, from here, you may need to adjust to one side or the other to feel the stretch that's going to work for you, whether it's up the side of the leg and then to the bottom this way or on the opposite side. So find a position where there's a stretch that's really working for you and lie and fold into that position. Each inhale and exhale, you could probably sink maybe a millimetre more. So you will feel your body start to sink into the stretch. And sometimes the stretch doesn't get easier as such or less uncomfortable. You just can move into the position much better. Make sure you're conscious of your breathing. Take some good deep breaths. A few more seconds here. Sink down a little bit more, allow the body to fall into that position a little bit more. And slowly, slowly, out you come. Change sides. Now, as with anything, you can run through this program with me. So one leg in, one leg out, take the body over. You can hold the stretch for longer, you can pause, you can rewind and go back. And you can add in your own stretches, maybe from the last couple of weeks. So find a position where you really feel the stretch is working for you. And that's it for me, that's there. And allow your body to sink into that position. So it might be that you pause this video and you do the stretch for much longer. You might feel that that's really beneficial for you. You may want to double it up and do sort of two, three, four rounds of something rather than just one or two rounds. You can make it as long or as 
Şöyle uzunluğu. Bir more seconds. And slowly come back and bring the body up. Okay, last one. Slightly different. I think we've done this one in our Flexibility Fridays. So you can start in your tabletop position. And you're going to take one leg and bring that leg to the outside of one of your hands. From there, you're going to straighten the back leg. Imagine there's a piece of string taking your head away from your body and your heel away from your body. So your body's nice and long. From there, the hand next to the foot comes up to the sky and you're gonna make a nice flat body. Keep the knee pointing forward, push the ground away and hold that position. So this is really active, so you're working super hard through all the muscles in your body. The feet are pushing into the ground, they're pulling away from the foot and the head, so your body's nice and long, and push the hand into the ground. Let's take the fingertips up to the sky, and hold. And slowly down, take a wee rest, and go through that once more. Same side, so back leg straight, nice posture, long back, take the hand nearest the foot up to the sky and hold nice and flat. Everything's working super hard. The body's starting to really work hard. And slowly down. Change sides. So, other leg forward. Push the ground away. Back leg straight. Make balance, make your balance good. Push the ground away, straight in the back. And lift up. Nice and tall. Again, one side is always tighter than the other side. Push the ground away, make that back leg nice and long. And slowly rest. Last exercise and then we're done for Friday. Straighten the back leg. Knee off the ground, push the ground away and lift. Follow the eyes up to the arm. And make sure you breathe nice and deeply. Remember, this is really active stretching. Everything's working hard. You've got to work super hard to stay in the position. Keep the front leg bent, 90 degrees. slowly return. So remember guys and girls you can do as many or as few of those exercises as you want. It's just a short time out of your day as I said at the beginning as I always say consistency is the key. So if you can consistently do this type of stuff at least every day your body and you'll feel a lot better for it especially if you're training lifting weights on the bike running. Body needs to learn how to stretch and relax. Okay, have a great weekend and we will see you all next week. Cheers guys, bye.